हेलो फ्रेंड जनरेट ए कॉलम चार्ट रिपोर्ट इन एसक्यूएल सर्वर रिपोर्टिंग सर्विसेज बेसिकली कॉलम चार्ट इज ए कम्बिनेशन ऑफ वर्टिकल कॉलम्स एंड इट इज यूज टू डिफ्रेंसिएट डिफरेंट सीरीज इन ए सेम पीरियड ऑफ टाइम सो इट गिव एक्चुअल पिक्चर वाट इज गोइंग ऑन द डिफरेंट सीरीज ऑफ द डेटा हाउ इज दे आर बेनिफिशियल फॉर द बिजनेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव द सेल्स डेटा फॉर डिफरेंट कंट्रीज लाइक यू के यू एस जापान and we want to show you how the sales performance over there within the country and how are the taxes uh, over the countries so in this uh, scenario we need to generate a column chart report with the help of uh, sql server reporting services For example we have the data like this now you can see that we have the different data in our database their state code state name country code country name sales year total sales and total taxes uh, within the country uh, and uh, within the state for that year now you can see that we have the data so we are going to sql server uh visual studio or we can say sql server data tools in this case we are going to add a data set called ds sales and we are going to use embedded sql server data source like this and just copy the query from the sql server and paste into the visual studio data tools now in the field section you can see that we have a different fields in the data set click on the okay button now we have a uh, data set having sales code state code state name country code country name sales year total sales and total tax sheet so we have uh, we have added a data set in our report and we need to add a chart uh, just right click on the report body and insert and click on the chart and choose column chart now you can see that we have a different type of the column chart is available in reporting services like this we are going to choose a co uh, simple column chart from the charts now you can see we have the chart and just arrange it according to ssrs report now we have the chart But to now we want to add data set to our chart for this just go to the properties in the data set name section add data sales okay now we have the series for the series what we need to do here for the series uh, we want to add total sales uh, it is some of the total sales now we have to add another series like total tax sales now we have added the sales series and tax series now we want to add a uh, category so we want to save so here the country wise sales so we have added country's name just preview of the report now you can see we have the data within the countries now we want to add some other functionality in the report we 
that we have pulled the data from the database to show the total sales total taxes against any particular country so in this report uh, we are using a bar chart to show the total sales and total taxes against each country so bar chart give gives us the facility to differentiate to different series within the same period so in this report we are going to change the x axis title as a country okay uh, it should be bold and y axis uh, is showing sales and taxes so in properties so we can change it sales and taxes we can bold it and we are going to change the title sales and tax summaries okay we have changed the title of the chart also now just preview of the chart in this case we need to do some additional changes uh, if we want to know total sales for a particular company then what we need to do here we have to select the column bar column and right click on it and select so labels same here we are going to change the font size as a 8 same for the taxi we are going to select so label data labels and it should be 8 now just to view the report now see you can see that the numbers just top of the column is very funky right now to do some more changes in this chart we have to select it and go to the series label property section and in numbers select currency and remove the decimal places like this same for the taxes column we are going to show numbers currencies remove decimals okay now just preview of the report now you can see we have the numbers we can change the positions or direction of this column also so in this case what we are going to do we are going to uh, add is 80% then 80 degree uh, so there will be alert message smart chart smart label features we have to click uh, yes to disable okay same for the taxes label we are going to do 80% again here and click on yes button now just preview of the report now you can see so we can change the direction also uh, for these uh, tax or sales value just uh, top of the column now you can see we have a very large number of the sales and the taxes so we can convert the sales and taxes into to convert them into millions on the column chart we need to do here we 
that uh, in and generate a column chart report to show the sales and taxes against each country we, uh, we have changed the x axis and y axis and change the title of the chart over here so in this case uh, we also showing the smart labels just above the columns so what we need to do here because these numbers are very big so in this case we are going to convert these numbers into millions for this what we are going to do here uh, for this uh, we are going to the I'm going to the series and change it as a to the expression we are going to divide it to 1 million okay same we are doing for the taxes we are going to divide it with 1 million okay so in this case what we did here we have changed the total sales into millions as well as as well as for the taxes now just preview of the report now you can see that uh, we are able to view the total sales and taxes so in this case we are going to see the label properties and in numbers we are going to show the decimal places two decimal places also same for the taxes uh, in the currency we are going to show two decimal places just preview of the report now you can see we have the values in millions so in this section we are going to change this title over here in millions okay we have changed the y axis same for the series what we are going to do here in this series properties uh, vertical series properties in the label section you can see that we have the labels we have the numbers we are making as a currency but uh, without uh, we are using two decimal places okay now just preview the report now you can see we have the chart column chart report having values for very different countries now one thing is remaining now if you want to change the background of the chart area just click choose any color from the choose color window just preview of the report now you can see that we have the uh, beautiful column chart in our report for this uh, data point if you want to change the color of this we can change also as a black or red okay so we are going to change this color also which is looking very okay now this is color for fine for the report now we have the column chart report in SSRS so I think uh, this video is capable to create a column chart report in SSRS and if you want to learn more about SSRS and different types of report please subscribe my channel on YouTube thank you for watching us